We'll be playing, we'll be doing quick scoping on momentum, and you're gonna want this class setup, but game setup. You're gonna want unlimited time, unlimited score, capture time, one minute, and then the max time for, it. and then you want to have only one flag for both things. And that's about it. And when I go to it, and the class I'll be using is the. Oh yeah, you're gonna want enemy bots. Instead of normal bots, and you're gonna you want enemy bots instead of friendly bots, because more, most people like having friendly bots. But I prefer have enemy enemy bots because it makes it better. And I use the quick bolt. I suggest it, and so you reload faster and get more shots. ACOG or thermal, whichever one you prefer, I suggest. And you know, I yeah, just one of the two. I prefer the ACOG over thermal. And you're gonna want scavenger, hardline. And then you're gonna want lightweight and uh, low profile. You're gonna want the UAV with resist points, threat detection, speed, and then you're gonna want the aerial assault drone with its rockets and AI control. And then you're gonna want the what's it called? What's it called again? Uh, 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 shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you're also gonna want the overkill to get an. AK-12 or whatever other gun you like. I have the finger tear up, so I decided to use that. And the last score streak is a syst system hack. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love last score streak is a system hack with uh, assist points, disable XO, and flash. And let's get into some gameplay. It's good. Yeah. What I like to do is I like coming up all the way around. Make sure your sensitivity is a certain one. And then just don't rain how long. I, I do pretty okay. I wouldn't say I'm the best. I wouldn't say I'm the worst either. But I could definitely practice some more before I play some online. I need a little bit more practice. Like, no, no, maybe, 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 maybe like a, maybe like a 30, 40 minutes more. I am, maybe I should turn my sense TV up because I wasn't doing too too well, but oh yeah, and then do it. I'm just gonna about to try and get that quad feed again. And there's oh no, am I still got him? And that's another good spot to go to when everyone goes for that in momentum. I suggest having playing against recruit bots to help you get more kills and do way better than you usually can. And you get yourself feeling really good. And once you get yourself feeling really nice and good, you can just destroy. And sometimes, see, yeah, I'm trying to show the effectiveness of just hit firing with that. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, AK-12 is pretty good. It's not the best. Well, it, it might be. Oh, in the next update, they will be uh, adding what's it called a uh, a trading system where you can trade people's guns and everything. Like, say, you want to offer them like a quick bolt. A sandwich strider or something for for their silver bullet or other guns and the doctor who knows. I, I find I find it very like see sometimes if you want to be good and effective with the quick firing, you just gotta be good at it. I mean sure, I'm not sure how you can improve it, but get some more kills with it. And oh uh, yeah, I was trying to get my score streaks. The only reason I was trying to do that is to prove that you can still get score streaks and do pretty decent with it. Not do too bad, but pretty decent. And get all your score streaks while you play the game with this class setup. This class setup is actually not too bad. It's pretty decent. I think it's pretty damn good. I don't know why I didn't go back there and just destroy that turn, but I eventually do though. I mean, it's really useful to have threat detection because you can see where they are, you can see where they're at, just sitting there. I mean, it's really useful because once you get once you get good, you start feeling really good about yourself. You get way more kills. You do much better. And you won't panic. I mean, the key is to play, not go like not go try hard and go for everything. You want to play defensively, 
a dot camp. You want to guard us like an area, like a mo like a cap, like let's say you want to play domination. On this map, I can cover C and B, or I can cover B and A. And I I don't cover like A and C. I usually cover B and A, or A, or C and B, or however you want to say. It. And that's how I prefer to. I sometimes I'll rush in. I did, and I died because I did. But I still got my score streaks though. But if you want to go for a DNA, I suggest you play defensively over two, like a small area, and then like halfway through the first half of the game, you move to a different area, and then you just go back and forth, but not as a pattern, you go randomly. If you feel like you want to stay there, and you feel like you're doing good, then I suggest stay there. If you're playing against a group of people who don't know what you're doing, and they, and they don't think they haven't figured out your pattern yet, then you're good. Then you're doing good. If they figure out your pattern, change it up. You don't want them to catch on to you. That, that's that's a key thing. Also, if they, when you play against these bots to get better quick scoping, those guys will be sitting there to the life, and you can just rain all hell on them. I don't know why I used it. It well, I was just being a douche canoe, but whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna switch back to Moors. Start getting the kicks. Start feeling really good. Cause, cause that, cause the best way to get really good at getting headshots every time. Take the Goliath. You get headshots on it all the time. If you just rain hell on them with headshots, I mean they can't survive more than not. Then they can't survive too many of them. I mean I want to want to go like run around with the links and just get headshot after headshot after headshot. I see an instant replay of that. Do me a favor and share with your friends because this guy dances like a boss.